in grade school and high school. Uh, I don't remember. My, I, I get our homework assigned. I come home to try to do them, but uh, I never was a uh, uh, an A student in those deals. So schoolwork was a little more of a, of a problem. I didn't make a big problem. I, I guess it just wasn't in me to try to excel at the school years. Now, you worked? Didn't you work while you went to school? When you were uh, I don't remember my parents ever giving me a quarter or a dime to go to a movie. Ever since in junior high school, uh, I started, my brother and I made uh, our own spending money. We sold Saturday evening posts and when, when we got around the sold Saturday evening posts, the next week we remember who bought the magazine from us. So we go around before breakfast in the morning, go by and leave magazines at their houses, and then go back around in the evening to, to collect for them. And so we had a, we, brother and I sold more magazines than any other youngsters in the town of Albuquerque at that time. And then uh, later on in high school days, I delivered for a drugstore. Worked for a drugstore when they first called in for a prescription. I was a guy that got on a bicycle and went out and delivered it to their home and uh, worked for a few dollars and got a few tips. But then uh, in high, high school, uh, or worked as delivering mag uh, delivering papers. Get up before breakfast, go down and get a bunch of papers. And in Albuquerque, had a course from the downtown to the mountains. It was all uphill, and we'd pump our bicycle up up the, up the hills and deliver them on a few streets that we had, and then go to to school and. Uh, once a week, we'd go around once a week to collect our money for the newspapers that we delivered. And we were kind of our own business then with the newspapers. We bought the newspapers and paid for them and delivered them and tried to collect for them. If we didn't collect for them, they were our tough, tough luck. But anyway, my brother and I made all our own spending money all through school. So I didn't you tell me one time you used to wake up, you'd get up early? What was that yeah, about? Yeah, we'd have to get up pretty early. Uh, it, it seems like it's around uh, around 6 o'clock, uh, and uh, and I don't, I'm don't, i not real sure of the time, but it's, yes, we got up early. And uh, uh, my brother had a hard time of hearing the alarm clock. And he set the alarm clock off and set it in, in a little wash basin so it would make more noise for him. But if he didn't hear it, I heard it. We got up, got up and got on off. Then we'd get home to eat breakfast and then be off to school. Um, so it was a busy life. Didn't you, sell, didn't you tell me one time you sell donuts or chickens? Well, there was a time or two, yes. Uh, the chicken time was only a one, one-time deal. The man up the street had a bunch of laying hens, and when about the time they were through laying, he asked my brother and I to go around and see if he could sell them. So we went around door to door in the neighborhood trying to sell, would you like to buy a chicken? And uh, it was interesting. We, Sold chickens all morning in the afternoon. The man got his uh, truck out and loaded his up with cages up with chickens, and we looked at them and said, "I don't think those women want these chickens alive." And he said, "Okay." So he got a block of wood and his hatchet and put it on the running board, and we go up to the door and held the chicken up for the woman. And said, "Do you want it this way or do you want it dead?" And 99% of them said dead, so the man had put the block of wood down on the street curb out there and 
chop the head off and hold on till it bled out and bring it up and give it to the to the woman. That was a little kind of unusual, but they did that that for one day. We also, I think, the junior high school days, worked one summer selling bakery goods on, on a weekend. The woman who made them it had a kind of like a waffle iron, this iron that made donuts in a triangle, and they were kind of a cake donut. And we had uh, she packaged up in white bags and six, six to a bag, and we'd walk around trying to sell our donuts, and somebody says they didn't want six, well, we'd say, we'll sell you three. So we'd sold, sell three, and made a little money that way. One, one Saturday, in there, the man had a bakery downtown, and uh, we decided to go down, wanted us to sell bakery goods for, for you know, so we thought we'd try it for one time, and it was a long walk, several miles, down to the downtown bakery, and he had a box there that he filled up with different types of bakery goods, or different rolls, type of rolls, and donuts and such like, and we went around, uh, how's it selling that? But we only did it one week because the time we walked around town, walked down there, walked around town selling, and walked home, we did too much walking. And, and uh, but uh, and we didn't get home with any money either because we we knew what we were paying for those baker goods. So we sold enough baker goods to buy us each a roll. We bought us an roll and uh, ate it. And so uh, the time we paid the band off on Saturday after late Saturday afternoon. We had enough money to pay for our baker goods, but we never had but just a few pennies to go home with because we ate, bought and ate our own baker goods. <laughs>